live. We got Tim Bowman Jr. up in here. Woo woo. Yeah, turn up, turn up, turn up, turn up. <laughs> turn up. Yes, Tim is a musician, speaker. Uh, what else do you do? Now, TV host. A TV host, oh, yes. Him and his wife yes. have a, a TV program. Yes. On the Word Network, yes. so check it out. Yes. Yes, but you, we want to talk to you today, not just about your music, but oh, your I got to share this on my page. My see, people need to see this See, we, we like to. This, this is what we're talking about. Hold on, hold yes. <laughs> okay, what? Am I? Okay, I'm on. Okay, so turning point zone. There, there we go. go. This is good. Share. You're teaching me, so what I do? You share, can share now. now. Yeah. Share Public. Now. And then what do I do? This will actually share this post. Posting. Post it. Turn up. Sweet. So we on. Yes. <laughs> hey, mama, I made it. That's hilarious. <laughs> okay. So we're here with Simi. Yes. Yes. It's so good to have you. Yeah. Thank you so much for being here. You have just a great testimony and a great story. And before we get to your story. Yes. For people who don't know who you are about your music. Yeah. You got an album. Uh, no. A single dropping yes. very soon. A yes. song. Can you give us a little taste acapella? It's the so remake of Good Good Father. So, Good Good Father, yeah. um, oh, I've heard a thousand stories of what they think you're like. And I've heard the tender whisper of love in the dead of night. And they tell me. That you're pleased and that I, I'm never alone. You're a good, good father. That's who you are. That's who you are. That's who you are. And I'm loved by you. That's who I am. That's who I am. Yeah. That's who I am. Wow. Worship. Yes. yes. Praise the Lord. Okay, if that doesn't make you want to get his single, I don't know what will. <laughs> so make sure you download that when yeah. it comes out. Yes. Oh, that's so awesome. You yes. have a gift. Thank you. Glory obviously, God. yes, and that God is using. But before we get to that, um, you have just this amazing testimony. You and your wife. Yes. Um, you waited. Yes, we did. You were you were celibate until you got married. Yes. Um, and even for a guy, I mean, I know for me that's a story for me, but it's not common for guys to wait. Um, till they get married to have sex yeah. and people may be like uh what right. <laughs> and how so tell them it's very hard mm -hmm. it's very hard and I think um, one of the reasons why I'm so bold and upfront about being a virgin before I got married is because of that um, uh, stigmatism or yeah. um, a mindset that guys can't do it as well and this is just a female thing but the really the scripture called for both male and female Amen. to um, abstain from sex until they got married so and then you have this thing that um, well for guys it's this thing that you need sex to boost up your swag yeah and um, my mindset is if you need sex to boost up your swag you didn't have no swag in the first place <laughs> did you catch that yeah so <laughs> um, sex was didn't have anything to do with my swag it was really who I knew I was in Christ yeah so um um, a, a natural practical tip for guys to really help in doing this is stay busy mm -hmm. like you, you well number one stay busy like you can't be at home with nothing to do um, I mean nothing going for yourself and think that you, it, it's gonna be some easy thing you have to fill your time up you know with the Word of God but hobby school whatever it may be and then really your circle yeah you cannot Set out, read the scripture, see what the scripture says to do. Mm -hmm. Set out to, 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 to do this goal and then surround yourself with unlike-minded people. With the wrong Okay, so tips. Stay busy. Yes. Surround yourself with like-minded people. With like-minded people. Okay. So when you tell your friends, hey, man, I, I, I'm about to do this thing. I'm not going to have sex and, until you have married. That your friends and your, and your boys can be like, bro, I got your back. Yeah. So when they see you getting ready to fall, like, hey, you have, hold up, you know, hold up. Bro, you know what you've committed <laughs> to. So you want to have that accountability system. So all little things like that, and I can go on and on, um, really helped me to achieve what the scripture commanded us to do. So that was the major, what was the major thing that really helped? You know, you commit to God, and then there, there's the temptations. You know, so what? The main thing was we, we do... We have sex before marriage. Some cheat on their spouses. Some people um, really have sexual immorality, drugs. We do all these things because of the stimulation. Mm. 
-hmm. Period. Flesh. That's right. why we do it. That's why it's so hard for us to um to, to walk out what the scripture says because our right. flesh wants and it feels great. Right, right. I mean, let's just be real. Yeah. Um, but for me it was finding something in my life that was weightier than that pleasure. That's good. So for me it was relationship with God. Mm -hmm. And once I developed that relationship with God, disappointing God was far more life. of a of a weightier thing to me than experiencing that pleasure. Mm -hmm. So um, up uh, being in good standing with God and making sure that I was doing the things that he asked me to do mm -hmm. meant so much more to me than the pleasure of drugs and, 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 and getting drunk and, and, and having sex before marriage and all that kind mm -hmm. of stuff. So um, keeping that reverence and that relationship with God and Holy Spirit um, really kind of helps me. You get tempted, you know, Preachers, bishops, the Pope, everyone, you know, <laughs> scripture talks, yeah, the, the scripture talks about temptation, but, you know, we want to make sure we're in the right position to, um, that when temptation comes, we can, you can like, overcome. And now you are on the other side. Of yes. Because a lot of people are like, okay, is it worth the wait? Yes. Was and I'm not a virgin anymore. <laughs> Praise the Lord. <laughs> Hilarious. Okay. Um, but now being on the other side, like, what are the benefits? Like, you did it, you held on. And now you're married, you and your wife had that experience together. What are the benefits for those who are like, that's what I want to do. But, you know, what is it? Is Was it really going to be? It is so worth it. Yeah. We, I mean, you know, just talking natural, when you have a bunch of partners, um, it can kind of, you give room, a bunch of partners before you have get married. Mm -hmm. um, you leave room for the enemy to start playing with your mind and comparing. Mm-hmm. Is this person, and we just have, we had, let's have relationship talk. You give, you leave room yeah. for the enemy to say, well, uh, she or he doesn't do yeah. what my previous yeah. partner did. Yeah. All that kind of stuff. I have nothing to compare with. My yeah. wife is the best um, wife. She's the best lover. She's the best. Shout out to you, sweetie. Yeah. I love you so much. <laughs> but you have that. Then you have soul ties. And then um, one of the, the biggest um, advantages to waiting is, and we know as Christians, we don't, do um, this Bible to receive kudos and the scripture says to seek ye first the kingdom of God and mm -hmm. all these other things to be added but the thing that has been added by um, my wife and I making the commitment to honor him has been a mind blowing because we chose to do it his way yeah. and to live in holiness and purity as the scripture says um, he's just been adding so many goodies and and, and cherries and whipped creams and, and just things. And we're walking in really abundance because I believe that we chose to honor God. That's awesome. So I encourage you all, if you're waiting, it's worth it. Yeah, it is. It's so much worth it. Yes, but um, finally about your music. Yeah. That's, I mean, that's your heart. Now, those of you who don't know, he is the nephew of Vicky Winans. Yeah, hey, right? auntie, I love you. <laughs> we shout out to mama, to wife, to <laughs> right, anybody right, else. Right, right, right. <laughs> my pops, my mama, mama, mama-in-law, my pastor, all y'all. My church, Spirit of Fame Christian said I love you. Mwah! My music department, I love y'all. Fine, I okay, I keep talking. <laughs> so for you, what what is the music about? What is your goal um, in just sharing the love of Christ through music? What is... Well, that's a good question. I asked God, um, really, what was my niche or niche, however way you want to say it. Um, in min what was my niche supposed to be in ministry? Because, you know, you have so many different artists, wonderful artists with wonderful assignments. Um, but everything doesn't look the same. Right. And, um, you know, we have assignments that we're supposed to carry out. What was supposed to be my spiritual assignment? And if you really know me, you probably picked up already. I'm an old soul. Very old, they call me old man Tim, but I'm a young guy. Um, and God has blessed me to experience a lot at a young age. But, you know, I still like to dress young and, and, and do young things. But so fly. Yeah, that's right, yeah. <laughs> so the Lord began to share with me about how I was supposed to be an intergenerational um, a figure in the body of Christ and really gap, uh, bridge the gap between the younger and the older community um, through my music and through my ministry. So with my TV show and with my music, um, you know, you find a lot of times at my concerts and stuff like that, you have uh, a really multi-generational audience. And um, you got granny coming to me and saying, oh, baby, I love you. You're like my little grandson. And then you got the young kids 
turning up and just we going wild and um and international right international shout out to my international mm -hmm. people um the love that i've been getting overseas yeah has been amazing um it's been invaluable um both as a solo artist and um coupled with my wife we've been sharing around the world and um so big ups to you guys i love you hopefully i'll come to your country soon and be able to share with you but yeah that's my assignment really bridging that gap between the old and the young well, I see that. Through my music. That call is on your life. Yeah. And it only gets better from here. Yeah, I believe that. And I wish we had more time to talk, but people probably want to eat lunch. Or, yeah. You know, do stuff. Can't but make sure you like, share, comment. Yes. If you've been waiting to comment about that, if you're a guy and you're also like, yeah, I'm in this. Yeah. Because uh, ladies need to hear from guys more. And I thank you for being a voice. You thank know, you. That there are guys out there that do want to wait. And yeah. Value. And yeah. there's no shame in it. Yeah. When you know who you are in Christ Jesus a lot of the trivial stuff that we think and we put on um, from the world and mm -hmm. those stereotypes, they mean nothing because we should uh, put on kingdom mindset. Yeah. And when you put on that kingdom mindset, the stuff and people and gossip and stuff, you know, it's not an arrogance, but I walk around with such a a spiritual intent because I'm a, a peace yeah. and because I am an heir. And because I know who my father is, mm -hmm. I put that on. I'm a king's kid. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's a thing to where I love, I walk in love, I walk in unity, um, really as the scripture commands. That's beautiful. Thank you, Tim. Thank you. It was awesome having you on. Send me. <laughs> Thanks, y'all.